Hello, Facebook! It's Manifestation Bathtub! Do, 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 do. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, okay, so we today we have our uh, de-stress bath bomb from Marshalls. Guys, I love Marshalls. And uh, benefits: patchouli pure essential oil has romantic and fragrant aroma and is known for helping enhance the senses of grounding and stability. It is also thought to be particularly helpful for aging skin. Wonderful. You guys, I just got this because it, it has these herbs in it and it's really pretty and it honestly it smells really good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be shy about my love for patchouli. I don't care what you think. Alright, so let's turn on the bath water. And we have a very special guest today. Ooh. There we go. And let's open up this bath bomb one-handed. Dr. Tito's, only the best. Just a little bit today because we've got multiple things happening. And um, here we go. Ooh, it's hot. So let's watch this bath bomb. Special, special guest here today. He's staying with us in our house. He's Instagram famous. He's a surfer. Let me get our most surfers now. Hey, Rona. Oh, okay, you can just take a shark and then go like that. 
so nice. it's really it's a really great way to stay warm. It is a little cold to have three people in the bathtub and just hold. I'm I'm perfectly warm. Uh, um, <laughs> get uh, all right. So so Malcolm's been staying with us for a couple days. He's a uh, he's a he's a traveling he's a nomad. He travels around the country with his dog. Grayson, who's a very cute, 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 cutie dog, um, and he he stays with various people and he connects them, which is really really cool. And he's got how many followers you got on Instagram? Um, fifty thousand something. Fifty three thousand. I checked this morning. Fifty three point two thousand. Fifty three point two thousand um, people watching him on his amazing journey, and he just he just travels around with his cute little smile, hug, <laughs> hugging people. And making friends. So um, that's a pretty amazing way to live your life, I think. And yeah, so, I yeah, I, I'd love to know more about it. Sure, sure. So, so Malcolm, like, what, how did you come up with that idea to start traveling like that? Well, um, it actually happened very organically. I was going to move to Hawaii for, uh, for my ex. And um, so I started selling everything I owned, quit my job packed up my car, got all ready to go, and then went to visit, and then it fell through last minute. <gasps> but I already had everything ready to go, so I was like, well, I'm just gonna travel anyways. So I started, going. yeah, because I had like a relatively large following at the beginning, um, mm. so I started kind of contacting other trans men, um, just to see if they'd want to hang out, uh, if I did a road trip before yeah. I went to Hawaii, because I was, there was going to be a waiting period between being able to move there and my lease ending, because... Uh, Hawaii is rabies free, mm. and so Grayson had to go through like testing and stuff and like quarantine before we could get there. So it was gonna be a couple months. I didn't want to sign a new lease or do a month to month lease. So wow. yeah, so wow. it started as just for fun, and then um, yeah, I went anyways. And then it wasn't until I got to Massachusetts that I met the the first guy that I met there. Um, I was the first other trans guy that he had ever met. What? Wow. Yeah, and that was my wow. thought too. It was like, because my experience was, I used to live in Chicago, mm -hmm. um, and I had tons of other trans men that I hung out yeah. with and that I celebrated with and like got support from and thank you. And, and, <laughs> and uh, just like hung out with uh, all the time. So I didn't, I didn't, when I first started transitioning, I wasn't doing it alone. So, like, finding out that this guy did it all alone was just like, wow. uh, That's crazy, you know, right? Yeah. And then there was a guy, the next day, literally there was a guy at 30 minutes from him. And they didn't know wow. about each other. Wow, what? Yeah. Oh my god, so yeah. you connected them? Well, I started doing, like, one-on-ones and then, like, started seeing, like, similarities between people. And mm -hmm. then started thinking, like, oh, I should, these people should totally connect with one another. And then just, like, gradually, like, the starting... Connecting them with like their uh, phone numbers and stuff, and then eventually I started bringing groups together because there was going to be like a time crunch. Yeah. Because I wanted to get to Phoenix, Arizona by like a Thursday evening because my mom was going to be there because she travels to work. So, but I still had a ton of other people on my list, so I was yeah. like, well, I should bring groups together. And then because a couple people had suggested that previously, um, and then yeah, and then. I was able to start connecting people like, in person. Cool. Anyway, yeah. So what's been like the biggest moment for you that felt like, wow, this is what I'm doing is starting to grow and this is kind of a big deal? Uh, I think like as people were commenting on my pictures saying mm -hmm. like, hey, you should come here, you should come here, you should come here. And then my list kept growing and my list mm -hmm. just got huge. And it got so like overwhelmed because at first I had it on a note on my phone. And so it got so overwhelming oh that, my God. like, after after the first six months, after I kind of ran out of money the first time and had to stop and, like, replenish, um, I had to, like, change my whole list system to be, like, from one note to, like, 50. So, like, e each Whoa. list is, like, a state. And wow. yeah, just seeing that list grow and then... It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to teach Malcolm how to do a mailing list. So it's awesome. a lot easier. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, you need a MailChimp. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what somebody says. Hi, Malcolm. Oh, hi. Hi. Hi, friend. Who we got here? Cool. We've got. Oh, 
Somebody says, you may be having too much fun with that shark, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. No such thing. <laughs> no such thing as too much fun with a shark, buddy. It's actually cute because I'm freezing and it's keeping me warm. Seriously, you're so you're freezing? Yeah. Do you need more hot water? No. Okay. I think what, it's just I'm cold on the inside from surfing this morning. Oh, yeah, you guys are both oh, surfing yeah. this morning. We're surfers now. <laughs> yeah, they're, sur they're both surfers now. Um, all right, Malcolm, so uh, if was there any point along this? How long have you been doing this? I started just under two and a half years ago. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long time. Yeah. It is a long time. And has there ever been a point along the way where you've been like, this is too fucking hard. I just need to get a job and <laughs> settle down somewhere for a little while. I did stop and settle in as in uh, Spokane, Washington for mm -hmm. about a year mm -hmm. as like my home base, but okay. I continued traveling to some places from there. Yeah. Um, yeah, because I actually, I went through another breakup and then, so going through the first breakup, that first six months was really, really hard because mm -hmm. I was, I was seeing people all the time, but they weren't, um, like, uh, like established friendships that I already had. It was yeah. new people all the time. Yeah, but it, it's exhausting. Yeah, it was exhausting. So like I, I would have hard days, like still trying to get over a breakup yeah. and then like on the go. Um, so then when that happened again, I was like, okay, I know how hard it was the first six months. I need to just take a breath, take care of myself and stop in the spot. Yeah. And then that's when I was like, okay, what do I need? Because I was learning about self care yeah. too. And that was really hard because I wanted to keep go, 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 go. Um, but I was like exhausting myself and to the point where I was like running on fumes and then I learned like what things I need to, to get, take care of myself. So, so when I got to Spokane, I just like started every single day, just like meditating, doing, writing three affirmations, three things I'm grateful for. I was taking supplements. I was doing like essential oils. I was working out every day, um, mm -hmm. going on more hikes and just like really focusing on healing that's awesome yeah out of all of your self-care techniques that you were using which one do you feel like was the one you couldn't go a day without the most um and this has been a struggle because like back traveling again it's it's hard to have that like everyday consistent routine um but i'd like to have that whole routine like back in the works it, mm -hmm. like eventually um and figure out how to do that like on the road but i think exercising is definitely a big one for me mm. yeah cool especially being on testosterone like i feel like i get like more energy so like if that just like sits there it's like ah, you too <laughs> i guess so honey huh? <laughs> yeah <laughs> I guess, I guess I just got called out, but I already know it. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So I think exercise is yeah, a big one. And eating healthy. Eating healthy. Oh. Oh. Somebody says, I just imagined someone walking to take a pee and saying this. Oh, hey guys, what are you doing in my bathroom? You don't even live here. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We just go to random people's houses and use their bathtubs. <laughs> um, that was me. <laughs> oh, get amazing. My foot feels a little disconnected from my body because it's like hanging There's off. There's so many the body parts in here. So, um, so Malcolm's been watching some Joe Dispenza videos with us. Yeah. And for those of you guys who don't know who Joe Dispenza is. Dr. Joe Dispenza is uh, this amazing neuroscientist. He was a chiropractor in the 80s, and uh, he got into a terrible car accident where he broke his spine, and he used meditation as a way to heal his spine. He, didn't, he refused surgery with a rod, where they would put a rod up his spine. He refused surgery, and instead he just went home, and he meditated, and he visualized his spine healing itself. And within 10 weeks, he was back to work um, as a chiropractor, whereas the doctors thought he'd probably be paralyzed. Um, and so he spent the last, he spent since that time in the 80s, I think it was 1986 or something that that happened, he spent that time um, building his career around studying how that works. And um, he's written several books. He's, his books are uh, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, um, Evolve Your Brain, um, uh, You Are the Placebo, 
And there's one more. Becoming and he, Supernatural. He just came out with a new one called Becoming Supernatural that we really love. And we actually, we want to go to one of his advanced workshops. And in order to do that, you have to take his, uh, his first workshop. And you can take it online. So we've been taking it online. We've been taking notes every night. And Malcolm's been lucky enough to join us and take notes with us. And it's funny because we'll be sitting there on the couch all taking notes. And about every five minutes, Joe Dispenza goes, now poke your neighbor. And we'll poke each other. And then we'll all like kind of recite our notes. It's really cute. Um, it's and just so, like we're in the workshop, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's really great. Except for we get to pause it to go pee. True. Yeah. So, um, so Malcolm, based on what you've learned from Joe Dispenza, like what, what's one of the biggest takeaways for you that you've enjoyed learning about? Um, I definitely want to start meditating regularly again. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. And it's really cool, like, um, what we learned yesterday about, uh, the muscle, like, uh, what was it? They were... The spring and the muscle, right? Yeah, yeah. They were, and, then, and then how people who actually did the exercise with the spring mm -hmm. had 30% growth in their muscle. And then, and then they had another group that just thought about it. And then they had 20% mm -hmm. still. And like they didn't do anything but think about it. Yeah. And then so, yeah, thinking so, about like what we could manifest that way. Exactly. So basically what Malcolm's talking about is, is that they had a test group of people. There's two different people. One whole group actually did a physical exercise. One whole, whole group just imagined that they were doing the exercise. And the group who did the exercise, their muscle strength grew 33%. The group who just imagined it, it grew 22%. And the group that did, not, did nothing got nothing. Yeah. And so, so they've done this test, this study with a lot of different things. They've done it about playing the piano. So they'll have a group that comes and practices playing the piano for two hours a day for two weeks. They have a group that comes and practices on a fake keyboard, just moving their fingers. And then they have a group that comes and just imagines it in their mind without actually moving their fingers at all. And all three groups made improvement. Um, <laughs> And so, like, based on that theory, like, what are some of the biggest changes that you feel like you would like to make in your body or in your life? And how could you change your thoughts and the way you meditate to help that? So, like, what are, what are like, you think, oh, well, if, if people can pull a string, pull a spring, and their muscles get stronger, like, what is one thing that you would want to do change about yourself just by thinking about it? <laughs> Should we mention what we mentioned last night? Sure, we can go there if you want to. <laughs> well, I'm, as many of you know, I'm in the process of, of working on getting bottom surgery done. So, so <laughs> manifesting a little bit more growth would be cool. Woohoo! <laughs> so, we, um, have, we have this new project called The Shrink and Grow. And um, I'm going to shrink my boobs, and Malcolm's going to grow his, his peen. <laughs> And so as most of you guys know, or maybe some of you don't know. Meditation. Yeah. Kit it has uh, top surgery coming up pretty soon in the next like month to four months, depending on how everything goes. Whatever I manifest. And, but if, if he can meditate his boobs smaller, he could potentially get a, a, a different surgery that's a little bit less invasive, which would be really cool. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool that uh, about two weeks ago, I went into the doctor and they did measurements and photos. So I think it's the perfect time to start meditating my tits off. Yeah, they um, did it before. Yeah, because, they, because they've already taken measurements and if I can change my body through meditation, there's proof right there because I have scientific measurements. So if Joe Dispenza can meditate for two hours in the morning, two hours at night, and heal a shattered spine, who out there thinks that these two guys <laughs> could meditate their, their, bits. their body parts to be different? <laughs> Who's in? Who wants to join us on this magical journey? Luna says, says, yes, do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then somebody else says, why can't I, can't all talk shows be like this? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I'm getting a cramp. So, I'm getting a cramp. Oh, God, cramp, cramp. Oh, my God. Oh, where is it? Where is it? It's gone. Okay. All I have to do is sit like this. <laughs> so, guys, who's who's going to do this with us? Who's going to, who's in? For this meditation marathon of changing your life, changing your body, 
I mean, you could do anything. You could change the way you look. You could change the way you think. You could change the way you react to things. If you're depressed, you could work on changing your depression. If you have anxiety, you could work on, you could meditate around how to manage your anxiety better. If you, um, if you want to bring more abundance, more wealth into your life, so you can meditate so, around bringing that into your life. I'm so down. Yeah! We should, where what are you going to change? Guys, we, so what are you going to change in your life from meditation? Tell me, tell, type it in the chat box. I'd love to see. Luna, you're so down. What are you going to change? What are you going to change? I, I am going to change. I'm going to... You want the shark? I've been hogging it. <laughs> the heat shark. <laughs> Um, so honestly, nice. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get a six pack next year. Yes. <laughs> oh, Sean says y'all are too cute. But guys, seriously, we want to know if you are, if you are going to meditate to change anything in your life, what Between would it be? now, let's give a deadline. Between yeah. now and January 1st. Ooh. Six weeks. All right. So six. Angel Hernandez says meditation is truly the, oh, thank you, Malcolm. You it's truly the best way to go. I've gotten some good results with that. Keep up the good vibes. Gage says into it. Great. So guys, we want to hear on the comment box. It is Monday. What are what you committed commit to? to meditating on over the next six weeks? If we check in with you on January 1st. Every, if we did it every day for 20 minutes. And we all committed to meditating every did. day what can we for 20 minutes change? a day. What can we collectively change? Think about it. Write it in the comment box. And uh, let's let's do this. I'm excited. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna get a six pack in six weeks mm -hmm. with meditation. Malcolm's gonna grow his, you know what? Kid's gonna shrink his boobs down. Done. What is Luna gonna do? <laughs> Luna didn't expect to be put on the spot. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, med I'll meditate, becoming significantly stronger. Okay. Ronan said, "I've practiced this for years. It works." Yeah, Ronan. Yeah, Ronan. Nicole said she's gonna practice being wow. vulnerable. Dustin said, "Impeaching Donald Trump." Ooh, good one. Oh. Yeah, Dustin. All right. All right, guys. Well, this has been a very magical, pizza-filled manifestation bathtub. We want to thank you all for watching and tune in next week around the same time next Monday. And you never know, we might have another guest. Mm -hmm. All right. I hope you guys all have an awesome day and also, we'll see you soon. If you want to send a bath bomb, you know, a little bath friend. Oh yeah, if you want to send a bath bomb to us or any kind of bath toys, <laughs> our address is 3272 Orange, Orange Avenue, Avenue, San Diego, California, 92104. Bath bombs. Bye. Bye.